Hello everybody, in this video I am going to give an update on my portfolio. Right now my portfolio is worth $94,069.45. In the past year I am up $36,136.52. Year to date for the year 2024 I am currently up $11,174. Today was a very green day for me, as you can see. I gained $3,090.09 .09 during the day and then after hours I am up $729.44. Let's go over my positions. For my options, I am selling Amazon $200 covered calls. These expire June 21st. My total return $396. I'm selling Disney $140 covered calls. These expired June 21st. My total return $396. I'm selling Google $170 covered calls. These expired June 21st. My total return, I am down $102. I'm selling Robinhood $16 covered calls. These expired June 21st. My total return $28. I'm selling LUV $30 covered calls. These expired June 21st. My total return $55. I'm selling PayPal $65 covered calls. These expired June 21st. Total return I am down $100. I'm selling SoFi $9 covered calls. These expired June 21st. Total return, I am down $480. I'm selling Verizon $38 covered calls. These expired June 21st. Total return, I am down $114. For my stocks, I have 300 shares of Amazon. Amazon is at $180.57. My average cost, $98.95. Total return, $24,489.70. I have 6,000 shares of SoFi. SoFi is at $7.62. My average cost, $5.62. Total return, $11,000. $980.20 I have 300 shares of Disney. Disney is at $113.95. My average cost $60. Total return $16,185. I have 100 shares of Google. Google is at $158.63. My average cost, $142.48. Total return, $1,615. I have 500 shares of Southwest Airlines. Southwest Airlines is at $29.51. My average cost, $28.03. Total return, $740. I have 200 shares of PayPal. PayPal is at $64.48. My average cost, $57.70. Total return, $1,356. I have 200 shares of Verizon. Verizon is at $40. My average cost, $39.31. Total return, $138.10 I have 400 shares of Robinhood. Robinhood is at $17.75. My average cost, $17.57. Total return, $74. This is a margin account. My margin total is $105,767.99. My margin used is 
$883.93, which leaves me with about $13,884.06 in buying power. My margin status is low risk. My buffer is $49,065.78. That's the green buffer right here before I hit my margin call. My annual interest rate is 8%. The daily interest that I'm paying is $21. Very green day for me today. I'm so happy. A bunch of the losses that I suffered recently, I've gained it back. Uh, some of it anyways. In the past month, I think I'm up about $1,000 in the past month. But look at this. On April 9th, I was like at 97000 almost 98000 And then I went all the way down to... 87,000 now I'm back up to 94 so it's been up and down uh, pretty rocky the past month or so but I'm holding on now I'm just uh, gonna sit back and wait until all of my options expire these covered calls they all expire on the same day June 21st so that's what I'm waiting for there was a new feature that I saw today for example when you go to one of my covered calls, when I scroll down, I see this simulate my returns button. This is new. I had never seen this before. Um, so let's click on this and see what happens. Simulate my returns. Okay. See how SoFi's performance could affect your returns and explore possible exits. Okay. This is nice. This makes it very easy for people to see how things work. Learn about how this tool works and its limitations, okay? So these are simulated returns. It's a simulation for SoFi stays at $7.62. Let's say that SoFi... Oh, maybe I could just slide it. Can I slide it? Oh, wait. Okay, so I have to click. So if I click, it goes up and down by just by clicking. Um, or I could type in a specific price as well. So let's say SoFi goes down to $6. Okay. If it goes down to $6, then this is what the simulation would look like. It's all green. It would be at $1,320 profit from this uh, covered call and then over time by expiration date it's going to be 1680 for max profit and it'll tell it tells you the date too on the graph june 11th june 12th june 14th so it shows you where you are in terms of profit according to the date and according to the price that you set down here so let's see nine dollars actually even higher than that let's say ten dollars so fi ten dollars okay so if so fi was at ten dollars this covered call i would be down eight thousand one hundred dollars and then over time may 14th may 19th may 28th june 7th june 13th and then at, at expiration if SoFi is at $10, I would be down $4,320 from the from the selling this call. I would be down over $4,000. Of course, some of this would be offset by the gains in the actual stock price. But if we're looking at just this covered call alone, you know, the, the value of the call option, this is what it looks like. This is what the graph looks like over time. Realistically, SoFi is not going to stay at the same price throughout the whole entire range, but I guess this is a neat way to look at it. It's cool that Robinhood has this now. Before, I didn't think it did have this, but yeah, that's cool. Simulator returns. Let's see what it would look like if SoFi stayed at the same price it is right now. So if it stayed at $7.62 the entire time from now until... June 21st, this is what the graph would look like. So we'll be in the red, we'll be down $540, but over time, it's gonna go green, and then we're gonna end up making 
$1,680 at expiration. Uh, assuming that SoFi stays at $7.62. That's what this graph is showing. By June 21st, if SoFi stays at $7.62, this covered call will make us $1,680. Nice. All right, so that's pretty cool. I might use that more. I might show the simulation more to show you guys how much profit you can make over time, assuming that the stock price stays around a certain price. Maybe that'll be very educational for people watching. But yeah, that's a pretty cool feature. Anyways, I'm happy that I gained several thousand dollars today. I'll keep on making more updates so you guys can keep up to date with what's going on, how much money I'm making, how much money I'm losing, uh, what new positions I have, if I'm getting rid of positions, etc, etc. I'll keep on making updates. For now, this is it for this portfolio update. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you.